Hi friends, my name is Madhav Tov from Easy Approach and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, palindromes, so what palindromes actually are and after discussing about it, we will implement the program on C Sharp. You can implement the program on any language. The purpose of this video tutorial is to just give you the knowledge of palindromes. Now before uh, making the program, I want to discuss a little about palindrome, what they actually are. So palindrome are the sequence of characters or words or phrases or even numbers that read same backward as forward. It means when you read uh, the string or the word in the forward direction and you read it in the backward direction, it reads the exactly same. Now let me uh, show you the example. Like I'm taking a word mom. So if you read it in forward direction, it reads M O M mom. And when you read it in backward direction, it reads M O M exactly the same in the case of forward. So it sounds and it reads exactly the same. So we can say that the given a string or the, the string we have taken, for example, uh, is palindrome. So how can we make the program of palindrome? Uh, we will uh, take a string from a uh, user and we will process the whole uh, string and uh, we will process the string in forward direction as well as the backward direction and we'll compare the last element sorry the first element to the last element and then we will compare the second element to the second last element because second and second last are same so that's why it's O and that's why it is, it is equal. However, this whole process will be uh, uh, will t uh, will continue uh, until we get the loss of uh, this uh, unless we get the loss of a string. So, uh, what? Uh, how can we uh, do this? So, we will take uh, we will make a for loop, and I will take the two pointers one of the for loop which will we will start from zero and to the end of the string it will it will go and the second pointer which is uh, uh, which will make uh, which is a made up uh, pointer actually uh, will go from backward direction uh, that is the uh, that is the last uh, character or the last index of the string to zero so there are there will be two uh, pointers one i will call i that goes from zero to the last of a string and second which is a made up pointer will go from last to start of the string so these two pointers will give you the index of uh, the uh, is the characters that you need to compare uh, in order to check if the given string is palindrome or not. Now, uh, let me show you real quick to how can we implement this program. Um, before uh, going uh, for palindrome function, I am going to take input from user. So I am showing a message. please give a word and we'll store the input in some variable I take test you can give you can take any now we have shown the message and we have taken the input as well. Now I'm going to make uh, the function of palindrome. I hope you have a little idea of C sharp and function as well. We use function in order to avoid redundancy. We don't need to use uh, so much code many times what you can do you can make one function and you can use it many places so this uh, this uh, this is uh, the syntax of function in C sharp 
this uh, I use bool here because uh, I want to return the bool variable uh, uh, is palindrome uh, if it is the if the is string is palindrome we will return true and if it is not we will return false and we are taking a string parameter to check because this test will store the variable we will pass from from main function so we will process in in this function the test variable because uh, uh, the main uh, the variable in the main function will be passed to this test and this test will be processed in uh, this loop this function sorry so I am here declaring a for loop from 0 to the end of the string which is a string sorry test dot length minus 1 I subtracted here 1 because uh, the length function returns the maximum the total number of uh, characters however it does not returns the loss index and in order to uh, to get the loss index you have to subtract 1 because the index uh, the index uh, starts from 0 so you have to subtract 1 and we will in increment this i variable so there we have only one variable called i which will go from 0 to n and it's actually going in forward direction we haven't uh, a yet a variable uh, which is uh, uh, which which will go from back in from backward direction to uh, from le end of the string to zero so how can we make that variable so I am here naming it M and it will be length test dot length minus one minus I why I did this test minus sorry test dot length minus one will return the last index and subtracting i means you are iterating it in backward direction because i will be uh, at the very first time will be zero and at the very first time uh, test minus test dot length minus one minus i means i is nothing but zero so it will only test dot length minus one which is the last element and the second time when I will become one uh, it means the second element now it will return this index of the second last element because it will minus the mi uh, minus it will minus one from this and it will go to step backward so that's why it will return the second last index and so on the process will continue so we will we need to compare these two uh, characters uh, two characters at these positions I and M so now I am comparing test I sorry <laughs> I need to write here if is not equals to test M I'm just checking here for counter example initially I am uh, saying that the given string is palindrome because I have said here the value true to P and P is the flag variable which will return at the last of uh, the function uh, when we will uh, when uh, we have uh, determined that uh, the given string is palindrome or not and if it is palindrome we will return true and if, if it is not palindrome we will return false we are setting here true initially because we are assuming that the given string is palindrome and after processing this code will process the whole uh, string and if we get any counter example if we get any character as correspondent characters that are not equal so that means it's not palindrome and we will change the very uh, the value of p from true to false okay so we are not just uh, comparing the equal characters uh, we are just looking for a counter example and if we get any counter example we will change the very the variable P from true to false it means that it's not uh, uh, palindrome anymore and at the last of the string at the last of the function 
uh, we will return the bool variable that we have uh, make that we have made. So now p has the value of uh, uh, true or false. If it is uh, palindrome, it it would have uh, uh, true, or and if it's not palindrome, it would have false. Now let's uh, call this function in our main function. I'm just passing uh, the, uh, the variable or the word that uh, we have taken here and stored in test uh, and passing it to the function that we have just made is palindrome. And we just uh, uh, see if the value ret that returned from that function is true or false. And if it is true, then it means that the given string is palindrome. Now I'm here printing that the given word is palindrome. And uh, in else, we will write exactly the opposite. That is, the given word is not palindrome. So now let's run the program and see if it is running or not. Uh, let me give mom that we take as an example. So it is saying that the given a string uh, or word is palindrome. Now let's uh, give, an, um, give uh, uh, a string or, or word which is not palindrome, uh, like, uh, like. So it's giving the given word is not palindrome. So uh, that's how you can make the program of palindrome. Uh, it's not uh, the most uh, optimized version of the palindrome uh, program. You can improve this because it's just a basic version. Uh, there are so much improvement you can do. Uh, however, this is the basic version. And uh, I'm leaving up to you to uh, let uh, uh, see the program and uh, see how can you improve this program. And if you like the video, please subscribe my channel and don't uh, forget to click on red bell icon so that you can notify of the uh, next video that I'm going to make. Thank you.